Hey guys, what's up? It's Multi Games to Win, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to navigate through iOS 11 within my new mini series, iOS 11 How To. Topic of today's video Control Center. Now, obviously, as you guys know, in WWDC 17 today, Apple released an all new iOS update. Now, for those of you who are developers, you have them, and for, some, for those of you who are also not developers, you may have them. But today, we'll be focusing on Control Center. Now, obviously, as you guys know, Apple totally redesigned the Control Center in iOS 11, uh, and it's really kind of cool. And first off, we're going to start by looking at this. Now, obviously, as you guys can see, you guys can access all that. Your music is all, and it's all on one page, too. Your rotation lock, your do not disturb, your screen mirroring as well. Yeah, your brightness, if you push and hold on it, you can actually adjust it that way. You can turn on night shift. Uh, you can also adjust your brightness by pushing, uh, not holding on the sliders, but sort of pushing on them, I guess. Uh, same with volume, you can do it this way, or you can do it that way. Whatever seems to be more convenient. However, with flashlight, if you push on it, it'll actually turn it on. But if you push and hold like 3D Touch, you can adjust the brightness of the flashlight, which really kind of helps too. It's kind of like an all-in-one type deal. It's like I was 10, except a little quite a bit different huh. calculator won't do much if you push and hold you can copy the last result um you can push and hold on camera you can check selfie record video record slow-mo and take photo uh low power mode is pretty self-explanatory and a screen recording which is what i'm doing uh which i am recording right now to show you guys how to do this uh you do not disturb while driving there and your alarm so to access how to change these to swipe down or push the home button and go over to settings and within your settings you guys will go over to Control Center. Now, obviously, there's a lot of new options within Control Center, and if you want me to go over how those options work, let me know in the comments down below, and I will gladly do them. But for the sake of time with this video, I just want to cover the basics today. So to add one, to add a uh, thing, you basically just got to go over to whatever you want to add. Uh, like, for example, let's go over the timer. Uh, so you guys can see that's added if you swipe up. You can access your timer, and you can access how long you want the time for. You can hit Start pause and if you uh, go back so you can go back into timer and you can cancel it and it, all that so as you guys go back um you go over to settings here uh and you, as, you, as you guys can see if you want to delete it you just hit remove now if you want to move your things around like low power mode say i want to have that first uh let's go up and there it is low power mode is first so that's how you do that and basically just push and hold and put it back and if i'm not mistaken it was what right there yeah so that's basically how you do it and with that being said guys it's been multi-game for the win, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Have a good day.